I remember my grandmother was very forgetful um, and she was always on about getting a new brain and uh, I remember saying that like oh we'll have to we'll have to get you a new brain we can fix your brain Nana <laughs> and try to like give her something new so from that we always had this like um, uh, uh, kind of joke that you gotta go and become a neurosurgeon surgeon to, to get her a new brain. Myself and my brother and um, we're the first of our family to kind of go to university even. There were still a lot of very curious people. Uh, anytime myself and my grandfather used to go anywhere on a, a trip somewhere and we'd uh, we'd get out of the car he would um, he'd always look up at the stairs and like just not even say anything or not even comment on it, but just look, look up. And my natural boiling point was like, you get curious about everything, but then you have to get curious about why you're curious. And I remember like Sweden initially standing out. I mean, it's just a good breeding ground for science. Like there's a lot of good stuff that is, is happening in Sweden. And I think that was very appealing at first. Um, and then Stockholm itself, like there's, it's, known in the world for being such a very lovely, open and progressive place for people. You know, it's like when your expectations meet reality, and I feel like that was definitely the case when I came here. I've changed a lot since I've come here, and I think that's reflected in the environment as well, like how vast the nature is. Like, you can go out and you can really not see anybody for ages, compared to Ireland, where you'll always meet somebody you know kind of leads people to be much more introspective and independent and I feel like that's the way that I have been since I've come here a little bit. When I was doing my bachelor's it led to kind of moments of like depression. Um, to have that kind of fascination in neuroscience is something that helped me get through that I think because I was able to unravel the fact that like just because things aren't working out or because you're not feeling so great now um, it's just a it's a chemical process. It's something that happens in your brain. It's totally normal. Like it helped me kind of understand and explain the, feel the negative feelings I was having about myself and about my progression um, more easily. I was able to find solace in science, which was nice. I saw how helpful it was for me. So I'd like to help people dealing with stuff um, to help one person, then that person can help another person. And it's a chain reaction of, um, I don't know, positivity. And I hope that that's, um, something that, I don't know, that I could do someday, but we, we'll see, I guess. <laughs>